Hello, this video will be about preloading data using states. So what I mean here is that when you click a button, instead of filtering all the data to show maybe only a certain category in this list, that you've actually already evaluated this filter prehand and can then just reference it, making the clicking of this button much quicker, so almost instant. So to do that, we use states. So states, as a reminder, this allows you to save something in the user session and just like the simplest form is a yes, no state. So you could evaluate, I don't know, is a user married, yes or no. And then in a later kind of question, you could, for example, then evaluate which tax bracket they're in. And as you've already saved the yes or no, you can immediately do that and do not have to reevaluate it. So in this case, we want to filter a whole list of things. In this case, the list is data type preset questions. And so I've just clicked add a new custom state, enter preset questions, give it a name, and then click this state as a list. So I've got two such states here. One is called questions and one is questions reset. So kind of the old way of doing things, we show that first when we click category A, we want to maybe show just as a kind of devil's advocate, we want to show just the questions whose category contains the letter A in it. So to do that, we click the workflow and we use display list, search for preset questions, but we use filtered and an advanced filtered. This preset questions category text contains A. And as you may recall, filtered as well as an advanced filter means actually that this will not be uh, server side, but client side. And especially if you have an old laptop or if your internet is not like the best, this will actually take quite a while. So I've left this in and just so we can observe it here, we load the question, uh, we load the page again. We wait perhaps two or three seconds. Now we click category A and we see one, two, it takes a little while. Yeah. Whereas with the other method where we reference the state and we click category B here, when we click it, it's almost immediate. So it's significantly faster, especially of course, if you've got more constraints or, you know, you could also have a merged with, so you could have it as a very complex search. So to do this preloading first, when we load the page, so when page is loaded, we already evaluate this filtered over here on page load. And we also evaluate our second state, which is kind of when we click reset, we want to see all questions we saw at the start. We save those two here in two states. And then whenever we click those two buttons so category B, instead of evaluating the search here, which we did when we click category A, so the left button, we actually don't evaluate it because we can just reference the state which evaluated it on page load. And similarly with reset, we can also just reference the state. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so this kind of just gives us the ability to save time for the user because clicking it is just much faster, especially the more complex your searches and workflows such as the sign up workflow go. So that's the front end example. Uh, you could also use workflows. So for example, we have a sign up workflow and Upon sign up, we want to give every user a list of questions. Well, you would do make changes to whatever thing like current user. And you want to save maybe certain questions to the users. So instead of again using do a search for preset questions and having a filter here and this taking two seconds, you could again reference this same state, which is just Belvitz questions. And that would make it much faster. So that's kind of the advantage of presetting it. You can use pages loaded, or you could even for things where you know the user won't click it in one second, but maybe in four seconds, because you first have to open a pop-up, you could do only when, and then I believe it's page loaded entire is yes. And only then we could evaluate this state. But of course, pages loaded is for the ones you need immediately and entire means that all elements should be loaded so it will take longer. So you can kind of prioritize according to these lists. Okay, I hope this video helped you preload the United States of America. 
or I think that's the country it's supposed to symbolize here. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. Cheers.